Hello everyone and welcome to Lawrence Plays Manhunt Checkpoint. This is the game where I have to bimble around the city picking up the uh, checkpoints that you can see notified about at the, uh, the bottom of the screen. So the first one is a casino bridge so I have to get over there, grab that one and then I'll be told about another one. If I can get five of them then, um, then I win the game. However, to make it a little bit harder, there's about half a dozen hunters bim uh, also wandering around the city and they're going to try and hunt me down and, and kill me. And if they manage to do that then, well, I lose, they win. In order to make it a little bit easier for them to find me, there is a blip, that yellow dot you can see on my mini-map, and that um, is following me around for 400 metres behind. So as I move, if I move faster, then it'll be, well, it'll always be 400 metres behind, but it'll be a shorter amount of time behind, so it'll give the hunters a bit of an idea of what direction I'm heading in. But if I go slowly, then the blip will move slowly. If I stop, the blip will stop. So the idea is that it's... Um, it encourages me to sort of to drive a bit more carefully and to change direction a lot. And so we'll, we'll see how that goes. In fact, I can do the right turn on red here, even though there's a bike in the way. I'm going to push past anyway. So there's my first checkpoint. I think I can probably probably drive straight for it now. We'll see how that goes. But even if the hunters do end up in the same sort of area as me, then I can still try and hide from them by playing incognito, which, given that I'm in a radius, might might be manageable. We'll see how that goes. So, yes, there's the, uh, there's the first checkpoint. I shall attempt to go through it, grab it, and then, um, well, skedaddle and escape, and try and try and get away with before the hunters work out what I've done, where I'm going. So we thought this would make a nice change from the normal mode we play, where we have the circle on the map, um, because we've done that a lot. So there's two of the hunters. I don't like this. Three of the hunters. I really don't. Like them. I mean, they're playing with each other rather than with me, so that's that's good. I'm, I'm sitting here being reasonably innocent. I'm in a radius, which I don't normally drive. Sounded the horn. Uh, <laughs> there's a tugboat there. That's quite handy because that's going to make it a bit harder for the hunters to follow me. Let's try turning the circle off. Oh, nuts. Oh, I don't know what that's doing. Um, let's try getting out of here because hunters. And Mark is definitely following me. Now, the problem here is that I'm in a radius. And the radius is not the fastest of cars. However, he's in a, um, in a mini. Also not the fastest of cars. So I think it's probably going to be the other hunters I need to worry about most once they start to catch up. Now, I'm going to try and corner here, go around this way, and onto the highway. Now, as I was saying earlier, if I'm going fast on the highway, it's going to be more obvious where I am. So this isn't a great tactic. However, there is a way off the highway here. So I can drop down here, and then go this way, and that's going to hopefully throw them off a little bit. Now, I am driving on the wrong side of the road. I'm not driving remotely subtly. What I ideally want to do now is switch to a different car, and also stop driving in a dead straight line. Because if I'm driving in a dead straight line like this, it's going to be really obvious where I'm going. Um, so, but if I turn, then hopefully, hopefully there's now nobody behind me. Um, looks pretty good. I, but as I say, I still need to change cars. So let's pull over at the side of the road here, because I'm going to start going in a different direction. Let's take an orange mini. That's I said take an orange mini. Take the car. Do you remember how to steal cars? You do know what this game is, don't you? <laughs> we don't call it um, Steely Wheelie Automobile for nothing. Right, there we go. Okay, so now, now I'm going. I need to get over to North Vinewood, which is completely the opposite direction. So I'm going to head south, then turn round like that, in the hope that the hunters will now come blazing down here past me and not realise that I'm heading up the hill. Now, turning round like this is probably slightly unwise, because if I turn around, then it might make me fairly... It might. They are going to probably going to go past me. Now, the, the blob is still over there to the right. You can see it on the map. So that's still... Actually, there's quite a lot of lag behind that. That's excellent. It's now moving along. In fact, let's, let's run this red light. Keep going. Keep going. The dot is now directly behind me. If I if I look backwards... I can, yeah, I can see that heading down that way. So the hunters are... Ooh. That was my luck again. I seem to keep doing suspicious things in front of me. Actually, no, I didn't do anything suspicious the previous time. I was just parked and stopped at the traffic lights. Now, the problem with this, from my point of view, is that if I'm stopped, the hunters know that I'm stopped. Because the dot will be stationary on the map. So they always know what sort of speed I'm doing. Um, let's take this checkpoint and take this, this car, because this is quite a good car. We like the uh, we like the felon because it's a coupe. Right. Okay. So now we're we're away from that checkpoint. Now the hunters will know it. We exploded. 
there'll also be a little bit of delay before it actually shows them where I am. Or, well, you know what I mean. Not exactly delay till it shows them where I am, but a bit of... There's, there's some delay. So that's... Oh, I can't stop there. That's a green light. That'll get... That'll be very suspicious if they happen to come over here. Okay, so that's two checkpoints. That's... Oh, a dock's entrance blooming miles away. Okay. So, my first instinct was to think, well, I'll just blaze, blaze across the map at speed. Ooh, they're shooting behind me somewhere, so they think they've... They think they know where I am, and they're wrong, so that's good. Um, yeah, my first instinct was, well, let's hop on the highway, go down there in a blaze of speed, and get down there nice and quickly. But that'll make it really obvious where I'm going, because if I go fast, then the checkpoint will only be a few seconds behind me, and I'll be bombing in a straight line down the highway, so I'll be really, really obvious. Whereas, so what I need to do is make my way down there eh, with lots of sort of turns and wiggles and things. Now, here's a, here's a thought, actually. If I put my foot down, let's get moving. And let's go fast until I get into ghetto and then start wiggling all over the place. I think that's quite a good tactic. Um, it's a bit different from the way I normally play the game, but the rules are a bit different, so I think this might be an interesting thing to try. If I get down to ghetto at speed, yes, they're going to know I'm heading down south, they're going to know I'm going to ghetto, but they're not going to know why I'm going to ghetto or what I'm going to do when I get there. So, this might work might not it might be an absolute disaster and get me killed but I think it's an interesting I think it's worth a shot and I'm not going in a dead straight line either so they don't know exactly where I'm going like when they see the dot going along this bit of road they all see me going um, eastbound but they won't know exactly where I'm trying they won't know that I'm about to turn south for example until they see it turn south like this so they might they could in theory try have been trying to set up an ambush over there off to the east but I wasn't going there so Yes. <laughs> That's my theory. I don't know how accurate it's going to be. So, right, now as I'm down here, I'm going to start driving a little bit more sensibly. Um, a little bit of sort of trying to blend in with traffic a, a, a smidge and not going absolute, like an absolute lunatic. And see if that... See whether that gives them, gives them a bit to think about. Now, at the moment, I'm heading in a dead straight line. Again, this is a bad idea because if they're being observant, they will notice that the dot's moving in a straight line and they'll try and get in front of it. But I've turned now, now I've turned, so yeah, this might work. The problem is I'm I'm zigzagging fairly obviously towards a specific area. So the hunters are going to notice that the dot is moving well, it's moving east, then south, then east, then south. And that suggests I'm trying to move southeast. So I think I want to try and get across here and try and get to that checkpoint pretty sharpish. Now I could I could go across here to make them try and make them think I'm going to um, uh, going to oil fields and then turn round and head back again like this. I don't know if I've gone far enough there for it to really be worth it. Um, I think what I need to do for this is try and keep an eye on the dot. I'm really, really I'm really overthinking this at this point, but I can watch. Okay, there's two of them right behind me there. I'm not really in the lane, so I think they know this car is me. There's three of them there. What happened? They've all gone blazing off around the corner. Oh, awesome. I might be able to just sneak this. Okay, wow. Despite me doing something really blatant and stupid. Oh, I've got F the, the blue effect. Despite me doing something really blatant and stupid in front of them, they didn't notice it was me because they were too busy concentrating on whatever was going on in front of them. I'm looking forward to seeing the hunter view of that because... That's going to be interesting. Right. I need to get out of here. So, I'm now driving a very, very blue car. So, one of the... Um... Oh, dear. There's some fun to follow me. One. Of... So, <laughs> I've said this in previous videos. So you've probably heard it before. But one of the features we've added is that... Is that another hunter? I think it might be. Let's go off here. Whee! Railway line. Tunnel. Oh, no. Where does this tunnel go? Oh, no. I'm into the, un I'm into the tunnels. I don't want to do a tunnel run. This is... Tunnels are stupid. Um, anyway, yes, I'm driving a blue car because there is an effect where um, about half the time, when the prey takes a checkpoint, the, um, the all the cars in the vicinity of the prey will change to this weird blue colour. Um, and the idea is that then the prey has to change their car because they're in a stupid coloured car. So I'm going to get out of that one and leave it there. And I'm going to take this, whatever it is. It's, oh, it's a... I don't know what this what? is. It's a big, ugly 4x4 for anything. It'll have to do. Um, 
Okay, so, ooh, that's worked quite well. The dot is quite a long way behind me, so that's quite nice. Let's come around here. I'm, do I'm doing the retracing my steps thing again, which I don't think is a good idea, really. Even though I had a logic for it last time, I'm still I'm doing it anyway. Okay, so, um, yes, there's an effect where sometimes a random thing will happen. That time, all the cars in the praise vicinity, including the praise car, turn blue. Mike is investigating me a bit too hard here. I don't like this. What's that stuck? Is that stuck? That's stuck, yes. Okay, so I'm bulletproof, which is nice. Someone's just fallen in the hole there. That's, that's, that's good. Um, <laughs> let's try and get out of here in my big, unwieldy lump of a whatever I call this thing. Now, what is it, in fact? It's a, it's a rancher. Okay. And that sounds like a, a sweet, but never mind. Very American sweet. But, yeah. Oh, get out of the I said get out of the way. You didn't get out of the way. So I don't I'm stuck. Is there anything behind? There's nothing behind me, though. Okay, so Mike was distracted for long enough by having to get out of... by being out of his car and trying to shoot me that he didn't... Um, he hasn't followed me yet. And the dot is still way over in, in Ghetto. So do I, do I do the risky thing and drive back over this way again? This has worked very, very badly for me so far, going back retrace and retracing my steps. But I just feel it's the... It's the way I need to go, so I'm going to carry on back this way and hope Mike just zips past like that. And a search Tristan. Excellent. And my Mark. And is that Ed? No, it's not Ed. So they're all... Oh, that's Ed. <laughs> so they've all just gone straight back across the bridge past me. So this is quite... Actually, this is working quite well from that point of view. Um, and I can now approach the uh, checkpoint. How far back is it? The dot is still on the other side of the bridge, I think. So this is a decent distance. And because I'm not going very quickly, it's quite a long time behind me, and that's sort of the point of this. These delays are really short on the checkpoints, though. Um, yeah, it's a really long time behind me, which is excellent, because it means I've got time to think. I know the hunters aren't too close behind me. Where is the dot? Was that the last checkpoint? Has the game just broken? What is going on? Hey there. Let's hit up Burger Shot Have I won? I thought that was checkpoint four, but I have to admit I wasn't paying very close attention to the numbers. I was just sort of going for it. Oh no, there we go. Oh, there, right, okay. Oh, that's interesting. When I um, when the, when I don't see the checkpoint, I don't see my dot either. That's very interesting. So there's the thing where after the prey takes a checkpoint, there's a 30 second delay before they get told where the next checkpoint is to sort of stop them racing it basically. Which is sensible. Works works quite nicely. Um, however, it seems I also don't see the blip when I'm stationed when, when during that time as well. So that's interesting. I don't think it matters now. So now that I know that's how it works, I'm I'm okay with that. But I was a bit confused at the time. Uh, right. There's. I see a lot. I saw a lot of hunter cars zipping around over there. I think they followed in the direction that the dot was last moving in. So they're not. They're nowhere near me, so that means I can sort of get out of here a little bit. Should we try for a bit of highway time? I want to get to the beach. Yeah, let's try for a little bit of highway time. So this it's not a giveaway. Well, it's sort of a giveaway. Because the hunters will see the dot on the highway, and there's only so many places you can go when you're on the highway. So I kind of have they they're gonna have a pretty good idea of where I'm going. But but I'm also moving faster. So the dot will always be still be 400 metres behind me. It's just a bit easier for them to predict where I'm going when I'm on the highway. Um, I mean, I can deliberately be evasive. I could have gone off the jump there by red car park. That's a good idea. I should have done that. Let's come off here instead of staying on the motorway. Because I don't actually want to go quite as far down it as I would otherwise. Um, and come off here. Round five ways run through the lights of five ways. And then I keep going. Where's the dot? Where's the dot? Dot is still on the highway. Okay, so if I stop here at these these lights, that's now going to look like I've stopped on the... Well, they're going to know that I'm on the... Well, they're going to see, me, see the dot on the highway still, but the fact that I've stopped now implies that I've come off the highway because you don't normally stop on the highway and I'm probably overthinking this and the hunters are just blazing around in the, in the general area where the dot is and just hoping to find me. Um, so I'm massively overthinking this, but... I think there's some potential in that. OK, 
Okay, so I need to get to the beach, which is over that... Well, actually, no, it's over that way. I'm going in a rather silly route. But going a silly route means there's lots of potential for me to take funny corners and do random little things like this that will hopefully, when they get to this area, will throw them off a little bit and confuse them. I mean, I hope. <laughs> you never know. They might be smart enough to not be confused by any of this shenaniganery, but I don't know. Oh, this is interesting, and it's giving me a lot of extra stuff to think about, which is um, makes the game keeps the game keeps the game interesting and novel for me, which is definitely a good thing. Um, we haven't had any we had one brief chase in this so far, but whoa, that's Max. Okay, so they're hunting in the general correct area or the general area that I was in, and Max has now found me. So that's that's bad. I was I shouldn't have. Basically, I broke the traffic laws, and I've got in trouble for it. So if I, if I'd stayed, if I'd stayed following the traffic laws, then he wouldn't have been anywhere near me. He'd have zipped past, and I'd have been okay. But nope, I had to decide to try and sort of zip through there and and try and get a little bit of an advantage, and it hasn't worked at all. So I now I'm uh, now I'm fleeing for my life as once, once again. Okay, so what should we do around here? What what good ways are there of getting away? Um, what's up here? This is a road, an actual road. That's good. Did Max? Yes, Max is still right there. Okay, so we're into the normal sort of chase thing now. This is going to be much the same as in a normal run. The uh, the dot thing isn't going to have much of an effect on this. So I'm going to be. Tr I'm just trying to get away, trying to make him lose sight of me, which is going to be tricky because he's in probably an an equivalently good car to me. So I don't think I don't think the radius is faster than the mini, but I don't think it's enormously slower. The mini probably handles slightly better, I suspect. Maybe it does accelerate a bit better if you're feeling how lumbery the radius feels going around here. He's still there right behind me. Um, that was Mark. Um, so now there's two hunters, both in minis. Three hunters. Two minis and a... I'm not quite sure what that is. Uh, four hunters. <laughs> Pink Tristan off to the side there. The radius is fairly tough. It has got, got that going. And there's, I've got all of the hunters now because I'm, I've, been, I've not been fleeing well enough. Oh, that's a brick wall. I'm stuck against, now I'm stuck against between two trees. This is a problem. Oh. <laughs> wow. Oh, good. That's um, Pete managed to shoot Ed. Yes, that way around. So that's two of the hunters out there running for now. That's a, that's a, that's a useful. Um, but there still means there's at least two of them, maybe three of them. I can't count. Numbers are hard. Um, probably chasing me. Yes, well, there's two of them. I know Tristan's around somewhere as well. Um, he wasn't involved in the in the in the uh, shooting incident then. Can I go down here? I mean, I can go down here. Is it useful to get? Yes, there is. There's a road down the other end. I thought there probably was, but I couldn't remember for sure. How do I get out of here? Like this, obviously, and this. But they're still, yeah. Max is still right behind me. Um. And Mark isn't far behind him. Okay, so if it was just Mark at this point, with that sort of distance, I could pull some shenanigans with a couple of quick turns and things. But Max is sufficiently close behind me that I don't think I really can. Uh, there's the checkpoint that I need to get, incidentally. Um, Mark took a shortcut. Very smart. There is shooting happening. It's, I mean, it's behind me. I've got bulletproof tyres, so... I mean, they're welcome to put bullets into the back of my car. As long as I'm driving away from them, I can duck quite effectively. And they're un unlikely to hit me unless I have a unless I have a crash. If I have a crash, then I'm going to be out of luck. But whoop, around here, uh, a little bit of off road. Can I please open the steps? Yeah, there we go. Radius is radius is theoretically an SUV, so it should be good at that sort of thing. It's just how am I going to lose him? Um, given that he, <laughs> I don't know if that's going to help or not. If he does the same thing, it might help. Where does this go? Oh, this is interesting. I've never done this before. <laughs> um, I don't want to... Oh, I didn't want certainly didn't want to do that. I was going to say I don't want to go in the storm drain, but I think I am going in the storm drain. Um, yeah, so I wanted to turn around there and get back out somewhere in the same similar sort of direction. Um, it didn't, didn't quite work. I ended up in the storm drain, as you can clearly see. So now I need to find one of the exits from the storm drain. <laughs> That's always fun. I uh, kind of want to stay on the same side. There's one. Let's go up here. Where am I? Where is it? Oh, this, is this by... Um, I was going to say, no, this is somewhere in the in industrial 
I was thinking this, this might be by the arena, but no, it is. Um. Oh, it, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know roughly where I am. I'm blooming miles away from the um, <laughs> from the checkpoint, but we've just got this sort of endless chase going on now. I don't really know how I'm going to get away from him. Um. Because, as I said, the cars are comparable. There's a tugboat here. That's um, unexpected. <laughs> Uh, that's another one of the um, the, the effects, incidentally. I, I, I must have just not seen it when I went through when I uh, when I caused it to spawn. <laughs> so it, it makes it fairly obvious which checkpoint was just taken because suddenly massive tugboat. But um, yeah, it's supposed to sort of cause a bit of confusion and and, me and general merriment and um, incredulity and a bit of a hassle for anyone who's trying to follow me as well, which is, uh, is always nice. Can I turn my lights off? Because I can. Uh, not that's going to help very much because he's right there, right behind me. Um, what if I let him catch up a little bit and then try and end or break him? Do you think that'll work? Because he's going to be aware he's in a slightly faster car. Nope, he was right behind me. I thought he probably was. But it seemed worth get, worth jamming on the brakes just to get him to have a little bit of a crash and give him a bit of a distraction, should we say. Okay, right. What we're going to do is we're going to do the old favourite of the um, bridge of Bridge of three jumps. Or we're going to try another end or breaking manoeuvre because he's, he pulled up alongside me and that's what you do when a hunter pulls up alongside you. Okay, it didn't work. He did manage, he managed to turn around about as quick as I did. Now, the ideal place to do an end or breaking manoeuvre is where you can then just dive into a, into a side side road uh, because then you've, you've already done the braking for it and they hopefully have it. So, oh, that was a bad use of the handbrake. So he's caught right up with me again. Um... Yeah, the ideal time to use an end or braking manoeuvre is to, to send them off into the... Um, so they carry on in a straight line while you've already gone round the corner. I didn't really manage to pull that off because there wasn't a suitable corner in exactly the right place. I just have, I just jammed on the brakes because he was in the, the correct place for an end or braking manoeuvre, so I tried to do one. Um, with limited success, I have to admit. Right, let's, let's, let's try again for the jump of who knows, who knows where he's going. Ooh, Max is still behind me. Um, let's try for the... Let's go through it at this sort of speed. And see if Max can match my speed. Oh, he did! He matched my speed perfectly. The sod. <laughs> Leave me alone. <laughs> Let me just run away in peace. <laughs> right. Fine. Let's get... I'm getting back on the highway, which is silly, because as I said, his car is probably slightly faster than mine. There's not much in it. The Mini and the Radius are... comparable. Um... That. Oh, it's Pete. <laughs> Pete's green is a, is a little bit on the dark side, so I don't often I often don't quite recognise it when I when I just spot it. Like that. There's no point in end or breaking along here because um, I don't have anywhere to go. Whoa! That was not what I wanted to do. <laughs> At least there's only a couple of minis by me, so there's nothing. Enormously, enormously fast that I need to worry about. But they're still excessively well there. That was, a, uh, and that was a plummet bollard in the way when I tried to do the braking maneuver. Uh, it's tempting to try and ditch into the water, into the sea, but um, I don't think that's going to help because um, I'd then have to get out, and I don't know how I'd do that around here. Uh, oh, oh, sorry. I'd have to get out of the car and then I'd just get shot up because the water's quite shallow around there. So there isn't really anywhere to escape to. So, um... Yes. Oh! <laughs> the radius just turned into me. Come on, a bit of radius solidarity, please. It's supposed to be on my side if you're driving the same car. That's how this works, isn't it? Okay, what's the next thing on my bag of tricks? Let's try going off-road. Let's see if the minis can... I mean, as I said, the, the radius is an SUV, so it should be good at this, right? drive up this um, hiking trail, round that dog, um, up, up, up into the mountains, following the trail, and then not following the trail, and just going, wee, uh-oh, and hiding in a tree, apparently, I mean, that's not in my intention, but I'm hoping that the, uh, uh, I was going to say, I'm hoping that all the other cars will run out of torque or traction and stuff, because they're, well, Pete's driving a coupe, the other two are driving minis. None of them are exactly what you think of 
when you think off-road vehicle. Then to be fair, neither is a Radius. It's just it's not really an SUV. It's a crossover. It's a, it's a Ford Flex, I think. Um, sort of car that you sell to people who want to have, want to claim to have a sort of an exciting off-road lifestyle, but actually. Um, to be honest, the, the most off-roading they ever do is, is, is mounting the curb outside their kids' school. Um, they're most actually those people most got to buy Range Rovers in the UK. I'm, I'm not. I'm not. I wouldn't want to say about other countries. <laughs> um, but yeah, um, I was sort of hoping that if I do something odd, like going, doing a bit of off-roading, then yeah. But then there's just the right bit there, and it's in a purple, purple fence, purple felon. Um, that. End or break move. Did absolutely nothing apart from letting everyone else catch up again. Um, at this rate, I am going to have to do the ditch it in the C trick. But the problem is, if I do the ditch it in the C trick in um, with the, in this game mode, then I'm just going to end up. Um, they're going to know where I am, where I'm going, and where I'm trying to get out of the. Oh, so that was a rather good pit. Um, I'm going to end up in the C, and they'll know exactly where I'm going. It'll be okay. It'll be 400 meters behind. But that'll probably give them a pretty good idea of where I'm trying to get out, so I'll struggle to um, struggle to, to, to avoid the sniper rounds when I come out of the water. Um, it depends actually whether the, whether the water is 400 meters across. Maybe I should try that. Okay, let's try and let's try and find an area of sea. Um, the easiest one to use. Go away! <laughs> stop! Stop that! <laughs> oh, I don't know why we let Max play with this. Um, what was I saying? Uh, yeah, the easiest easiest place to ditch into the sea is down by the airport, um, and that means, and from there you can swim over to beach as well, which would be quite convenient, given that I'm trying to get to the beach checkpoint. Uh, I could pick up a car there and see, but then it might, and it might work. There's fairly big waves around there, so maybe I have to get down there first, of course, uh, and I'm going in the right direction. But, uh, yeah, Max is being very, very tenacious and just hanging on. So the problem is I can't even wait for them to wear their vehicles out and wreck their cars. Because they can drop out of the chase for a couple of minutes, replace their car with something else, um, and then come back and join in. Whereas I can't. There's no way for me to repair my car. Um, so I'm basically doomed. Um, yeah, I think the ditch it into the water trick is going to have to be the, uh, the answer here. And I hope I can get through all of these fences in order to do so. I hope this water's deep enough as well. Oh no! Got stuck on the... I don't believe it! Ah! Oh, I don't know what I'm trying to do here. Apparently still just to go. Ah! Oh, I can't believe I ran into that bollard. That's... Oh no! It was going so well. <laughs> oh. Hey. Sorry, Tristan. Maybe because in the bridge. So vehicle change. You did? Oh, he's he's no 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 he's he's come he's stopped. Tristan. He's, <laughs> he's stationary. <laughs> I'm thinking origin. Yeah, there's a lot of traffic up here. Yeah, we'll take, take it out. Yeah, I've seen a bridge. Oh, yeah, I see yeah, I have a black car, a uh, SUV heading east. Uh, Definitely Casino Bridge. <laughs> yeah. Uh, he's a white dude in a uh, like checkered uh, <laughs> twice shirt. Is it Mirror Park now? Uh, yeah, he's going through Mirror Park now. <laughs> and I spin around. I am 400 meters behind him. Yeah. <laughs> you on the dot? <laughs> yeah. All I'm going to say is that that checkpoint now has a rather substantial roadblock and it's taking me a long time to get past it. <laughs> I thought you'd arrived at it. I, I was just looking at it going, it's dark and I can see that there's a road there and then like there's just this bit where I'm not sure what's going on. Maybe it's a render issue and then I hit it. Do you so see like, oh, the it's a, oh. at the moment? Uh, Pete, I don't think he's this way. No traffic here.
next. I'm wondering season. if the next one's like pier and um, docks entrance, so it's on the other side of the city. No, no. I'm gonna head over to docks entrance just in case. Okay, go for it. That's where the circle's going. I'm assuming it turns left here. Yep. Mm-hmm. Other possibilities are oil fields. Are we all committing oh, to... I jumped over. It went straight over. It didn't turn right there. Yeah. I'm going to go to oil fields instead. I am. I'm going to go. Oh, he pulled a Yui. So he pulled a Yui, came back this way, okay. and then... If he goes left, he took the white top. He took He's the... taken Doc's entrance. Yeah. Yeah. I can't see no one bucking it away. Not, Not that done thing. that road, probably. Oh, no, headed west. A lot of blue cars here, like everything is blue. Oh, oh yeah, I think I've got him heading north. Checkpoint. North. Okay. Uh, yeah, uh, it's a, he's in a blue uh, muscle car. Uh, he's just taking a jump team. into Storm Train. No, it's a, it's a... Uh, I completely messed up that jump. Is he in the police car? Heading, no. heading which way down Storm Train? Uh, oh. North, I think. I messed up the jumps, but I lost him. Rule for that should probably be you have to actually stop and so get out and get in again. Works. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's gone back towards oil fields. He's crossing the bridge either way. I've got gangsters shooting at me. Turn left, Tristan went north, yep. back here. I'm not turning around. He... He I'm so confused. He's on the wrong side of the road. Well, he is there, but... Although, then he pulls a Yui. What's that boy doing? And yeah. back the way he came? What? I'm confused. Mega yeah, suspicious, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah very, very confident we got yeah. him. Black muscle car. Uh, east side of oh, No, him. not him. Passenger's dead. Oh, oh, I found him. I did find him. I ran into him. Uh, life evader, Where? life evader. Black muscle car. Okay. The radius, that is. Yep. Uh, the golf course, west side, northbound. I'll go around the thing that waits up. Alright, we're entrance now. Uh, we're heading for the west. Map reading error for me. Uh, heading west. Sorry. Nice. No, no. Mm. Oh, sorry, blocking. Good, good, good. Ow! My face! <laughs> oh, dear. Going through the pedestrian area, cell phone. Yeah, sorry. Okay. Can you hear me, shot, southbound, towards Wilkie. Let's put him on the first bump. Yeah. He's gonna take a, a sideway road. He is uh, towards Pier Road. Yeah. Towards Pier Road, from Bumpy. Towards the southern. Yeah. 
pedestrian bridge. Taken by an AI. He's on the beach. He's into the parking lot. He's in the tech edge of the house. Heading south on the beach. Sorry, he is. Uh... I got him. He's spam. Double back. Sorry, Mike. Sorry. On the highway again, in between the two pedestrian bridges, and uh, northbound. Underneath Jetty. And zero gas station. Is on highway? We're off. Uh, he's yeah, gone uh, off-road. Oh, I see, I see. We're off-road uh, towards the graveyard area. He's on a walking path at the moment. Like a hiking path heading west. There is, I'm even more off road than that than to him. It is on your map and it will come out at the. He's just jumped over, continuing west. Uh, we've gone north now. Just heading to observatory. Uh, yeah, we are just south of observatory now. It's not the observatory, it's a different one. But that one, whatever that is. I think it's like a museum. Uh, I'm a uh, conference uh, center or something. The sun come it? out. Passing university now. Yeah. Yeah. He's past the front of the university. Uh, right. Turning left just after the university up the dirt road. Oh, very well. <laughs> Basically straight up the dirt road. Oh. Uh, becomes a driveway. We're going to pop out opposite the not observatory. I need to figure out what the building actually is. I think it's a conference centre, but I might be wrong. Heading towards the conference centre uh, entrance. You blindly trusted me there, didn't you? <laughs> okay, okay, good, good. Just change cars. <laughs> I'm going to try to stay a little bit out of trouble with you guys. Oh, nice pet. There we go. Hello, You're please. on my head, Tristan. I got him, I got him, I got him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Hello, Mark. <laughs> uh, what's to say about too many cooks? Oh, <laughs> oh wait, that was beautiful. That was, uh, that was amazing. Going left, left up the road towards behind Richmond's hotel. <laughs> oh, in front of Richmond's hotel, though. Towards Wolf. Mike happened. That was West one, Wolf, course, southbound. Southbound, so not the way I went. Oops. Go not <laughs> nice, one of them. We're going uh, at golf course entrance now. Yeah, left at uh, checkpoint. Since he stays in this area, I feel like he has a checkpoint in the area. Eat. Donkey! <laughs> there he goes hearing me. Uh, further south, towards five ways. Uh, yeah. Yeah, I feel like he is. I feel, I feel like he has a checkpoint ah. in this area. Um, no, he wasn't me. He doesn't ah. hang around just the checkpoints. Oh, sorry. <laughs> over the bridge at uh, uh, Over point. the bridge at uh, Torso. Uh, where? 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 Artillery, sorry. Five points south, basically. Um, he's on Houston. Further south, we're the big code. So it's be at Halifax. Into Halifax. What? In what? <laughs> you can go into That's the. He's bowl. not wrong, into the but. You can go into Storm Drain from here. You can go into Storm Drain from here. He, he, in the water. He, he tried to dip it in the water. He's, he's hoping for a. Um... Micah! What I did? I. 
Nice. I can't swear. Oh. You, yeah, he's able to do what I didn't get up here. I, I appreciate you're all dead so you can't see it, but... You have to trust me that I've jumped the thing and got into storm drain. Yeah, you can, you can, that's not too difficult to get into storm drain. I can't believe it, I hit the bollard there and it took That was a good run though. Yeah. You did it get was. into I my just... car at least. I did, yes.